Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeven video. My name is Tommy and I am together here uh, with Ina. She's from Ukraine, I know her already for many years. And the reason that we make this video is that we hope we can provide you uh, a little bit more information about what we can do. We get a lot of messages from, from WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram about people who are willing to help, which is of course very good. Um, but it's also very overwhelming. So we thought maybe it's good to, uh, to tell you if you want to help exactly what you can do. So Ina, yeah. first of all, how are you? Yeah, not too bad if you compare with uh, other people who is now uh, stocking in uh, Ukraine uh, in uh, some cities and they can't get out from there and because also of the horses. So this is the main problem that we can't help for the moment that the people who is in the cities and stay to with, with them horses there. Yeah, yeah. And um, ca can you tell us a little bit because uh, you are a little bit yeah, closer involved with the whole organization uh, about the website from uh, uh, from Ukraine. Uh... Yeah, and uh, now uh, quite a lot of people try to help us and they bring a lot of food to the Poland. And um, uh, now uh, Ukrainian uh, Equestrian Federation try to organize uh, logistic with the food and um, also to bring uh, horses out from Ukraine to Poland and organize papers and uh, also it's the most important that uh, we uh, can bring food to the place uh, to the stables where people stock with the horses this is the main problem now yeah yeah because we get a lot of questions about people they they are offering like stalls eh? I get a lot of messages these days I have a stall and but that is not so simple eh? yeah it's not so simple because first you have to come from um, big cities, uh, from Kiev or uh, Kharkov, where it's really, really a difficult situation now. And that is not easy and some places not possible to come to Lviv and to the border on Poland. Um, so, uh, uh, first of all, uh, what we need is uh, to be sure the logistics start to work and there is uh, volunteers who help and they want to drive up and down uh, to different places. So what is really important what you can do right now is go to the website and then you can uh, sign in and then you can, you, there are a lot of options which says what kind of help you want to offer. A lot of people contacted us uh, yeah. through Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, which is really, really nice. I mean, uh, people offering their stalls and they, they ask uh, uh, and they say, I have room for two horses or one horse. But actually, that's not really uh, the most important thing right now because it's very difficult to get the horses from Ukraine into your stable. Yes, Can you explain a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, quite difficult to organize papers now because it's still the same rules. So you need to collect blood and then make a test and then to organize a carnet. Uh, so all these papers, it's, it's quite difficult and it takes a few weeks maybe uh, to do this and so now we have like 40 and 40 horses who is uh, on the borderline and they're waiting for the documents and um, stay in the line to, to, to go out to go so, out yes. so it's actually not so easy that like you can drive to the border of Poland and put a horse in your truck and then bring it to your stable because also and I never thought about it un until someone to told me that yeah there might be also some uh, people not with the best interest collecting horses at the border so yeah maybe if you're wondering why this is so um, difficult to arrange there are a little bit more uh, yeah things to think about than just you know fly in and and have a chaotic situation everything needs to be organized very well so it's very important if you want to help again go to the website and if you re register first, then uh, they can uh, find the right match for the right person. And then you have like an organized structure and not a chaotic kind of uh, situation. So right now there are 40 horses waiting there yes, for the papers yes. and, and they are they are building like uh, uh, temporary stalls. Yeah, it's, uh, we hope it's uh, this week. Uh 
maybe next week because it's also quite difficult to bring in Ukraine the yeah. food, the yeah. stable, it's not like just past the border. You have to have special documents. So sometimes it stays on the border and wait to the time when you can go in. And then when we have like uh, 40 boxes, uh, we have a really big help also from API. So, and uh, then we have these boxes and pe uh, people who want to leave country and they can bring horses, stay there quiet and uh, wait for a paper. So this is also really, really important. One of the reasons it's, it's kind of complicated is that when the horses arrived at the border and for example, they don't have a passport, they, they are not vaccinated, they haven't maybe haven't uh, even have a chip. So all the things needs to be taken care of before they actually can go into Europe. So that makes it a little bit more complicated. Uh, and as I've been told, then likely it's like, will be like 21 days that the horses need to stay in quarantine and all the stuff to move on. So um, if there is any need of help for, for stables or whatever, then definitely we will put something online for help. For the moment, that's not the most important thing. We have a lot of people now uh, from Ukrainian uh, equestrian sport and hobby, they're all together now and they work together now, volunteers and the uh, Ukrainian Federation, everybody together. And we have people from Poland, uh, board, uh, side and we have uh, people who work in the uh, uh, side from Ukraine. So all food come to Ukraine and we have people who um, check the list who, uh, like from our uh, website who need the help and they send delivery food. Now we hope this week they start to deliver food at the places uh, who need the help. Okay, good. So, so it's not like no one there. There is quite a lot of people working now, but we want it more fast. We want it like yeah, one, yeah. two, three, but it's not Impossible, possible. Yeah. So we try to move on, but uh, the time is, is like that now. Yeah. And how can people uh, uh, make sure that if they donate money, yeah, that we, everything is going to get in the right place? Yes, uh, then, then you can see there is report and uh, all this uh, little um, Excel or how you say this? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, if you go on website, then you can see where yeah, money exactly. goes. Okay. And then we have also must, uh, there is a map uh, when you can see the uh, each name of the stable who like we need help, we need help. So you can easily find uh, okay. everything there. So actually, the main message what we can give here is yeah. please go to the website if you want to help. Not only like in the coming month, but especially later when yes. we hope the war is yeah kind we of hope over. the war is st uh, stop but then if it's we need also a lot of help and uh, with the food and everything because uh, it takes like a year i think uh, to for recovery and uh, for all this uh, horrible situation what is there now yeah thank you for watching this video i hope this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions or whatsoever, then please go to that website. There are a lot of uh, people who can uh, provide the right answers. Thank you very much for Thank your you. help and all your 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 messages. And uh, yeah, we uh, we hope we can uh, we can help Ukraine.